Welcome to a series of fishing on my channel. And today we got some fishing tackle, fishing bags with tackle, and a fishing rod. We'll be going over today what I t fish with and what is my setup. So let's start. Now let's start out with what is in and on my bag. First on the on the side pocket I have some dividers for my bigger tackle box. Um, got some a, pil a ibuprofen oil that says bluegill hooks. Got some. You can see that. That's there in there. I promise you. They're not filled. Um, we've got some. Oh, there's a line. There's a. Well, that's where that went. It's a hook with a um trout thing. When I went trout fishing, there's a weighted bobber. Weighted bobber. And then an empty pack of hooks. Three odd hooks, those are my favorite three odd. On this side we have a stringer. And we have right here is fishing license which I do not have. And another baggie. Alright. So let's put everything back into my spots. Because I hate it whenever I, I have everything not in the spots that I should have them in. It's extra line just in case I have to make something real quick. Or tie off anything. It's good to always keep some extra line, but I don't need that much because all my stuff has has a knot that never comes undone unless you snag it. Now it's on my book bag. I have this little carab carabiner, carabiner clip with this, thing, this blue pack. This is actually a chair, which I got for my birthday, which is July 19th. And I just had my birthday. I went to Cabela's for my birthday and spent $88 worth of fishing tackle to see in here and maybe an, and some in this other box, which is in the ice. A little chair to sit on. It has a pocket. Come here. So. This is a good little chair for anything. Like camping, hiking, if you want to sit down when you're hiking. Um, I've got, in here I have a pound scale to pull. I have number a six pack of numbers size eight. I found these at the park at my local park. I was fishing and I looked down and I see these. It was literally like this and I didn't see the silver and I'm like, oh crap, what's in there? And then it was like five hooks in there. We have a two aught premium round bend of hooks. In here we got some worms. Oh, that's roach. What else we got? Oh, we got number. Oh, let me. I have size 14, size 10, size, size 6, size 4, size 2, and size 4. It's a 4 art. 4 art. Catfishing. And then some for bluegill and trout and all that jazz. What else do you have, do you ask? Um, I have a weedless lobster. Lobster thing, right? Drawed out or whatever, what do you call it? Whatever you call it. I have a 124 piece pro pack of water gremlin removable split shot. There's different sizes. They are like cheap on, on Amazon. I have another stringer. I like stringers because they come in handy if you have too many. Because in our, I live in Pennsylvania, but at my park you're allowed to have like there's no limit on bluegill. There's a limit on bass and I think oh what? What else? Bass and catfish. Alright, next we got I, I forget the name of these. Please link please comment down below what the name of these are, I forget. So let's well, let's see what else. Um, get it out. We have some oh, I think I do these. Oh, this is Oh, worm I have, an extra worm. I have a water gremlin snop, snap lock, daisy sinkers, plum shallow, size one. Another pack of water drumming. 
So that's all that's in there. Thank you. Alright, let's get into the main packs. Alright, first up we have two of these. We have two of these. I have a Sanko in here. I, have, I just put random stuff in these. Sanklin, I have some grubs, I have some grub like flies or whatever, I don't know what they're called. Got a red um, stringer. Got a spoon with hearts on it. Thank you, extra little hooks and all that. Oh, people are crazy. And here I got like random flies or whatever they're called, spinners. Here's an example of one. A lot of tub, ton of grubs. Another stringer. You got a like a big grub on a spinner. It's just crazy. I'm trying. I did a challenge. I'm gonna do a challenge come up soon. Random things on random hooks. Featured random things. All right. And then next we have the main main box that I have all my bass. This is bass. This is bass. This is bass. Boom. Right there. I'm going to go over everything in here. Now, pop it open. We got them two and all, two, three odd hooks from Gomagatsu. Right, I don't know how to say that. We got some random things. Just in, we got a nice big Sanko. We got a worm tail. A duke of worms. We have got a tube and a, and a whatever that is. So what the? That used to be purple. Now it's not. We've got a big frog. We got the Pad Crusher Jr. And then we got a Lunker Hut Spinner Frog. The thing spin. Leg. Now this stuff is main. All this is somewhat. All the eighty eight dollars. Not this whole thing is eighty eight dollars with a fishing tackle. Like we got bob. We got bobbers. Should I show you? Now these are new to me. I, my friend suggested them to me. They are whopper ploppers. Oops, Whop air, pop air. I've got a Walmart spinner bait. Spinner bait, I think. Comment down below what it's called. Spinner bait. I'm just getting into into bass. I usually eat live bait fish. Live fish. We've got some poppers. We've got some whatever these are. Lipless cranks, you got more bobbers, you got bobbers, you got trout kits, frogs, all kinds of things. In here. It's a people cloth. So, I bought this on Amazon for like $9. But I've added, like, all this is added on here. There's never not this much. It was a, a 98 piece pack. But I added a whole ton more stuff in it. Now, let me fix the camera. It's getting bugging me. There we go. Alright, let's get back to this. Now, let's go into the main big tackle box as it's at the bottom of my bag. I carry a big tackle box. I have a couple of them. Alrighty. This, my neighbor gave me this. I only need to put these gummy glasses in here. Now let's get right into this. We have some North America Fishing Club bait holder. We have a wor pig worm. I don't know what that would be for. Comment down below. Just gonna shut up and just go through this because I am really tired. Tic Tacs, but they're they're supposed to be spearmen, but they're actually hooks. Spearmen hooks. That just probably made me look dumb. That's a uh, leader, I think. I'm not sure. Leader. 
We have this random switch art. I'm probably looking dumb doing this because, I don't know. Got a nice old thing here. These are like old things he gave me that he used to use, but now I don't. See how it came in this? Maybe another, but a bigger version. Or a Paula. It's a Rapala float. Come on, didn't it even float? I thought it went down. We have another popper. We have a grub with a fly. Random. I don't know what that is. Now, main juice is fly. Fly. I don't know. I think it is. Another. We're going to switch our random. Another random thing. Hey, whenever I don't put things back in my tackle box. After I'm done shooting a YouTube video or even fishing, I hate it. One time I lost a good bottle of, uh, power bait. Power bait, I think it was. Yeah. Then got some random, um, 296. All this my neighbor gave me, so it's. Got some more split shots. Water drumlin. It's like my favorite. Hooks. We got some split shots. So that's where they were. Okay, I'm gonna put these over here. We got a nice cool shotgun shell. It opens up and has split shots. I got this a long time ago. I didn't know they were in here. Oh, more split shots. Baby ones. Back in here. We got, we got a nut snow, not that. Oh, jig head, I need that. I needed it. We got all kinds of things in here, folks. And then all of these. Oops, oops. We got nylon coated still on leaders. I'm like profusely, whatever how you say it, sweating. Eagle claw, size 12. Oh, wow, I didn't even know I had those. I have a size soon, who knows what. Put that there. Another pack of them, size six. That's what they are. Okay. Eagle claw, size four. Size fours. Size fours. Trout. At oh, least size fours of trout. More size fours, I think. I'm gonna keep these in here. We got silators, we got quarter, we got. Oh, I have a. I, I go. I want to go boat fishing sometime soon, so I have boat fishing stuff in here. I didn't know I had all this stuff in here. I really didn't. That's for that. These. And if you're asking the bag I'm using, it is a Penn, Nike Penn State. Oh, and I also have a the Nike Penn State bag. So. Oh, I have a big edge. A bait. Let's take that to the left. Big bait box. Man. The Holy Gorilla bait. Gosh, where should I start? Hmm. Cut grubs I've got. Flies, I have hook remover, which is mine, I think. And then we have some more grubs. We have a frog in here. We got spinner bait. We got hooks. We got many, many stick baits. Or soft baits, or whatever you call them. I call them soft baits. Stick baits, or whatever. Whatever we're filling. You have that in there. And you open a main tack, bud. We have got. Some chew, I love this kind. It's long cut wintergreen. It's um let me show you. It spoons. These are the spoons you eat off of. I just had to make that joke. 
It's people make it all the time around me. I got an eagle claw. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is way too far. Oh my god. <clears throat> you have eagle claw. It's like a keychain or whatever. Lanyard that literally has all these spoons on it. Love eating all those. Well, got a poncho in the rain. This is all my uncle's stuff, so. Got some weights. This thing is heavy. Weight. Got flies. Two wooden bobbers. We got. Catch more prizes. Nope, I don't have that. There's like weights, bobbers, bobbers, tubes, weights, spoons, all that in here. So. I can't pull it all out because it, it'll be messy. And I do not. I feel like messing up my uncle's um, tackle box. Oh, it's the bait box. Now, let's start with the outside. We have a fluke. Fluke. We have a jig, and my friend says, we get up like this, I don't know why, I didn't, I didn't want to. All kinds of split shots. This is just like a big box full of bass tackle. But another one, these ones are like changing color. We have another, oh my lord, this is the part of the weird challenge. The thinner thing with a weird thing, with a weird something on it. We've got a hook over here with for a swimmer bait, swim bait. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the most a bait I ever had. Kabam. Let's see, I have... It says soft, non-tailed worms. Like it's non-tailed, like... Like that. Like stick bait. And then I have one that says soft-tailed worms. Which are like the most, like... Oh, let me get a good one out here. Like ones that have these on it, like the little spinny things, whatever. I don't know. See the difference? Tailed and non tailed. So. Like I have. What's this? I think there's for wacky rigs or whatever. I'm putting that in the wrong one. Not wacky rigs, um. Tangas are like wacky rigs. So we have those. You get the, you get the gist. We're in the barber, you always need barbers for like bit by bait, but now we have some bought these at Cabela's when I went for my birthday. We have some Yum 2.5 Craw Carolina Craw Bug. Put a it's you can use this for the best hook to use is like a you got a three lot jig head Texas rig or a drop shot hollow body for internal jig head replacement perfect for clear water and realism counts when you have realism in your life. Oh um, now I have some best hook to use for these are a three lot the four lot the five lot offset weightless you can go split shot the Texas rig the gist of it. It's a four inch Yumdinger Endler's Magic. Best thing is, Sanko. Half of a Sanko. I don't know if you can see that. Camera's like moving by itself, I don't know why. Come on. Let me see if the camera's still rolling even. Got how much more, how much time left? Ten more minutes. Okay, let's get through this fast. We'll be done. I'll do another video about this. I got like, some frogs. My camera only does thirty minutes of recording. Frogs from Cabela's. It's uh this one's I like the Kado series. You have your own hooks the six on it. Anybody in the 
there's a, like any other fishermen in, in the comment section below, tell me what size hook to use. I've been seeing people using the six lot. Well, we have a, another pack of Sankas here. There's a Yumdinger Green Pumpkin Short. It's the, I'll just show you in the bag. It's the, like the green, oh, like a, oh, what do you call it? That's good. A boom blank. We have some, oh, we have a Yumdinger Bad Jama Cre Creature. Say it. We have a, something else for a dollar. It's a Yum Lizard or whatever. Fluke. Now these are all, oh, that's garbage. We have a Pumpkin Seed 7 inch Worm. Oh, these are all Power Bait ones. We have a Power Bait another worm. It's all broken up. We have some tubes. So we did you have my favorite, which is a fly tour worm. It's the salt and garlic added. We have some random we have some trout worms in here. We got the juice. We got the juice flowing if you need anything. Not really I am gonna use all this. Thank you. I don't like giving out my stuff very much. People call me greedy, but hey, I'm using then yeah, then you give it to somebody. But then guess what? You don't, then you don't have it. All right, on to the juice. It is those American Hero. It is a medium action. Cast very well. It's a spinning reel. Did you see? To lose it. How big is this? I forget. Thorn. It doesn't say. Well, it's 6-6, it's six, six, I think, um, if I'm not correct, please. Yeah. Medium action, 6. 6-8. Six, Spinning on American Hero. Right now I have a hooked up. With a Sanka, green pumpkin Sanka with a Sarchus. There it is, Sarchus. Tail. Got that weird knot I made. Oh, excuse me. And then it has a, like a swivel. The hook, every, if I have to do like a, if I'm going to put on my... I say I want to, I want to have my, um, Sanko in there, and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, this is good for, like, top water, so then I put on a frog, or, a, or maybe a walker plopper, just fast, you know, with a swivel. So, that's my fishing stuff for today, for today. I will be doing these once, wh whenever I can, um, soon, I don't know what, when I will be, but, like, some, sometime. I will be getting a, I think it's Shakespeare, it's a Ugly Stick GX2, the bait caster, which I'm excited for. I have a Easy Cast bait caster from Shakespeare, but it's just, it doesn't work right now. It doesn't cast right. And so I called them and they said they'll replace it, and so they, they're sending me a um, bait caster, a real bait, ca real bait caster for about free because thank you Shakespeare I'll give a shout out to Shakespeare and the lady that was with me Shmika Shmika if I'm saying that wrong sorry Shmika I think it is and thank you to her and she's also sending some free tackle gear because I was nice on the phone and she she understands the problems I was going through so and so, yeah, I'm going to be getting free tackle and a free rod and reel because of what happened to my other one. And so, she was nice. Thank you, Shamika. I think that's your name. I, I, I'm sorry if I forget it. Shout out to them at Shakespeare. Um, they're a really good company. I have a loose fishing pole. I've got some, I have a whole bunch of Shakespeare stuff. And so, shout out to them. When the big cast comes, I will be doing a review of it. And I think I'm going to go in next video... I'm going to shoot two videos the same day. I just shot this this video about my tackle gear, and then the next one I'm going to be shooting it for, like, um, basically what to use on, like, Sankos and all that, so it'll be a good video. All right. See ya.